Hi, Freedom Family. Welcome back to another episode of the KYC No Pride. First off, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has supported the show. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. Today, on the rule of thumb, we will be discussing about the frequent questions that you guys are always asking YouTube about copyright. Let's dive right in, Freedom Family. So there are a lot of things that you guys ask YouTube about copyright, and there are three things that are predominant in those questions. Those three things are fair use, public domain, and derivative work. Let's tackle each one separately. First off in the list is fair use. Freedom Family, we have made a video about this on a previous KYC episode. If you haven't seen that episode yet, you can always click that eye to watch the episode. So just a quick recap on fair use. Fair use is a legal doctrine that says you can reuse copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner. Now let's talk about public domain. Works eventually lose their copyright protection and are said to fall into the public domain, making them free for everyone to use. It typically takes many years for work to fall into the public domain. The length of a term of copyright protection varies depending on where and when the work was published, whether the work was commissioned as a work for hire, and other factors. Certain works created by U.S. federal government agencies fall into the public domain immediately upon publication. Keep in mind that the rules for public domain differ from country to country. What about derivative works? You need a copyright owner's permission to create new works based on original content. Derivative works may include fan fiction, sequels, translations, spin-offs, adaptations, and etc. You'll probably want to get legal advice from an expert before uploading videos that are based on the characters, storyline, and other elements of copyright protected material. Sounds simple enough, right Freedom Family? Let's break it down. Fair use is a legal doctrine that you can use or argue with when you use someone else's content without permission. Make sure to watch our video about fair use by clicking that eye icon. So what about public domain? Public domain content are works that originally have copyright, but as you know, copyright expires and it takes a lot of years. So once the copyright expires from that kind of content, that falls under public domain. Be warned though, the rule of public domain differs from each country. Let's touch on derivative works. Basically, Freedom Family, derivative works are works that are protected by copyright. But here's the thing. When you ask the original content creator that you want to use their content and they provide you the legal rights to use or transform those videos or content that they have, that becomes a derivative work. So derivative works can be fan fiction, sequels, translations, and or spin-offs. Okay, Freedom Family, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from the rule of thumb. Let us know by hitting that like icon. Let's head on over to the KYC Mob Edition. Our first partner is Annie Sins. Hey Annie Sins, how are you? I hope you are doing awesome today. I'm kinda excited to look into your channel because, you know, I really like anime. So, let's dive into your channel. I can see that your channel deals a lot of reviews about anime, which is really good. Your content is actually similar to Cinema Sins, which is more awesome. Like I said in my previous episodes, I really, really like anime. So, let's take a look at your videos. Eren, despite being one of the last ones to realize he has titan powers, I'm assuming, was the first one to give away being a titan. Like, come on! Okay, I chose this video because I really love Shingeki no Kyojin or Attack on Titan. I find this video very entertaining because your comments are very funny. And of course, you have broken down all of the anime tropes inside this anime. I love it. Thank you so much. Let's move on to another video. Yeah, you assholes who boost agility are a thing of the past. How does that even make sense when there's no hard evidence to back up your claims? Sword Art Online is one of my favorite anime. I like this video because not only that you provide funny comments, you also break down all the things that you see in the anime, which is really spot on. Thank you for the video. All of your videos can be argued under fair use. Not only that you give your honest review about it, you add a little of your personality, which makes it into your own video. Plus, I really like anime, so I will have to rate your channel as Notified. Our second partner is Face Over Matter. Hi, Face Over Matter. I hope you're doing awesome today. Let's take a look at your channel. I can see that your channel is all about beauty tips, reviews, and techniques. That is really awesome. Let's take a look at your videos. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it, and I'm just gonna have to start over with my makeup today. That's cool. This is what reviews are for. In this video, you are trying out Maybelline New York Super Stay Stick. I would say that the makeup is really good because when I saw your face at the end of the video, it was really, really good on you. Make sure Freedom Family to stick to the end of the video so that you can know the full review. And see, now that I have a corresponding pencil, I think I like it a lot more, but this is pretty. 
is going with the fro today. Yes, going with the fro. In this video, you are reviewing a set of lipsticks and liners. This video is really interesting because it lets your viewers or audiences know what kind of lipstick they should buy on their own time. I will definitely watch your video so that I can know what kind of makeup my friends who are girls want for Christmas. Thank you so much. Face Over Matter, I have reviewed your channel and it looks really, really good. It's very interesting, it's very entertaining, and very informative. Thank you so much. I have a suggestion though for your channel. Maybe you can revisit your About page again. If you can visit your About page, there is nothing really substantial that describes you and your channel. What you can do there is provide a little something about yourself, your goals for your channel, and anything that is related to you or your channel. That is just my suggestion. Thank you so much, Face Over Matter. You have been really awesome. Your videos are really awesome. Thank you. I will rate your channel as Nullified. That's it for today, Freedom Family. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from today's episode. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, your insights, suggestions, violent reactions, if you have any. And also, don't forget to hit that like icon. Also, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thank you so much, guys. My name is Nold, and you are watching KYC Nullified. See ya. Hi, have you checked out our Freedom Forums? If not, well, you should. Because you will find me there alongside free channel assets like audios, banners, thumbnails, and a lot more. If you want to hang out with me or with our Freedom staff members, visit our Discord page. See you there.